Hi, welcome to my video where today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the x-intercept and y-intercept of equations, linear equations that are in standard form. This is going to be a very easy lesson. It's one of my favorite lessons to teach because it lets you graph so, so fast. And a lot of these numbers, guys, we could do right in our head or we could do out a little bit of the math work. And I think either way, you're going to pick this up just fine. So an x-intercept. An x-intercept we know is where a graph crosses the x-axis. So the x-intercept, we're trying to find that point. In order to find the x-intercept of an equation, we need to let y equal 0. So if I gave you this equation that's in standard form, 2x plus y equals 4, in order to calculate the x-intercept, this x value here, I need to substitute in a 0 for y. So this becomes 2x plus 0 equals 4. Now, if I do that, would you agree that this equation really just simply becomes 2x equals 4? Yeah, pretty simple, right? So then if I divide both sides by 2, I'm left with x equals 2, and that's my x-intercept. That's it. And the coordinates of that x-intercept are 2, 0. And that would make sense because my x value is my 2. And remember, we plugged in a 0 for the y. So that point comes perfectly together. Now, to calculate the y-intercept, to see where the graph is going to cross the y-axis, at what point, okay, we let x equal 0. So I plug in a 0 where x is to solve for my y-intercept, which would mean we're solving for y. 2 times 0 is just 0. And if I have 0 plus y equals 4, then this is done. y is just simply equal to 4. And so my y-intercept is 0, 4. That's it. And if I was to plot those two points, which we're going to do in just a moment, that would be my line. It's that simple. Let's do the same thing here. If I said to you find the x-intercept of this equation here, that's also in standard form. To find the x-intercept means to plug in a 0 for y. So 3x minus 2 times 0 equals 6. Now, if I do this, I'm really left with 3x minus 0 equals 6, which I think we can all agree is just 3x equals 6. And my x-intercept is 2. Now, it's just a coincidence, guys, that this became 2, just like this one here. Totally different equation, but they actually have the exact same x-intercept. If I asked you to then find the y-intercept, to find the y-intercept means to let x equal 0. So I substitute in a 0 for x here. So 3 times 0 minus 2y equals 6. 3 times 0 is just 0 minus 2y equals 6. It's really just negative 2y equals 6. Let's divide both sides by a negative 2. And y is equal to negative 3. So my y-intercept here is 0, negative 3. Pretty simple. I think we're doing well. OK. Now let's take a look at some problems where we're going to calculate the intercept, but then we're also going to graph it. Now I made a little table for us here, x, e x plus y equals 3. And if I'm doing the intercepts, I really just need two coordinate points. So that's why I set up a table with just two columns in it, or two rows rather. If I want to find the x-intercept, that means I plug in a 0 for y. Imagine I plugged in a 0 for y here, x plus 0 equals 3. If I plugged in a 0 for y, what would my x value be? What number plus 0 equals 3? It's 3. That was easy. 3, 0 is my x-intercept. If I plugged in a 0 for x, 0 plus what number equals 3? Okay, if I plugged in a 0 for x, 0 plus 3 equals 3. So 0, 3 is my y-intercept. That's it. We just found two points on this line. If I go ahead and I connect right through, that's the equation of that. That's the line for that equation. That's how easy it is. I didn't do any other tricks, no gimmicks. You don't need any other points. You only need two points to make a line, and we have them. Let's try that again for this one now. So if I wanted to find the x-intercept, that would mean I'd have to plug in a 0 for y. So x minus what number, 0, I'm sorry, x minus 0 equals 4. What number minus 0 is 4? 
it's 4. 4 minus 0 is 4. So 4, 0 is my x-intercept. If I plug in a 0 for x, 0 minus y equals 4. Now think about this one. This is really negative y equals 4. How would I solve for y? I would divide both sides or multiply both sides by a negative 1, and I get y equals negative 4. So sometimes we may need to do a little extra math on the side just to make sure we're in good shape. That one really wasn't too bad. And that's it. Those are our intercepts, 4 and negative 4. And that's our graph. Let's try the next one. If I substitute in a y for 0, and I want to do this equation, x minus 0 equals negative 2. What number minus 0 is negative 2? That's easy, negative 2. So negative 2 is my x-intercept. If I plug in a 0 for x, 0 minus y equals negative 2. And again, this might be one where we want to kind of do it on the side. Negative y equals negative 2. Divide both sides by a negative 1. And so y is equal to positive 2. So that would be my y-intercept. I have my two intercepts, and I can make that's gross. Sorry, guys. And then I can make my graph. Pretty good. All right, let's take a look at three more. Okay, so 3x plus y equals 3. If I want to find the x-intercept, I plug in a 0 for y. So if I go ahead and plug in a 0 here, this equation now becomes 3x plus 0 equals 3 which is really just 3x equals 3. And if I divide both sides by 3, I get x equals 1. So 1, 0 is my x-intercept. If I go ahead and I plug in a 0 for x now, 3 times 0 plus y equals 3. So 3 times 0 is just 0. I'm left with just y equals 3. That's it, y equals 3. And that is my graph. I hope you're looking at this, guys, going, okay, wow, this is pretty simple. I just have to do some really light calculations, and then I get my results, and I'm able to graph this equation pretty quickly. Two more problems for us. Okay, if I want to find my x-intercept, I plug in a 0 for y. So this is 2x minus 5 times 0 equals 10. So 5 times 0 is just 0, so this equation is just really 2x equals 10. If we were to divide both sides by 2, that means x is equal to 5. So 5, 0 is my x-intercept. Okay, if I want to find the y-intercept, I plug in a 0 for x. So now the equation I'm really left with here, I think we would agree, is negative 5y equals 10. If I divide both sides by a negative 5, I get y equals negative 2. And so that would be my y-intercept there. All right, I'm going to make my graph pretty good. And that's it. Okay, last problem for us. 4x minus 2y equals negative 8. Let's take a look. So if I want to find my x-intercept, I plug in a 0 for y. So 4x minus 2 times 0 equals negative 8, which really just becomes 4x equals negative 8, because remember, negative 2 times 0 is just 0. Divide both sides by 4, and x equals negative 2. Last part here, guys. If I want to find the y-intercept, then that means I plug in a 0 for x, and then it becomes this equation here, negative 2y equals negative 8. Divide both sides by negative 2. Y is equal to 4. So I have 0, 4. Let's go ahead and graph that line. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.